It is the bass player, welcome back to another episode of The Other Worlds. In the last episode, as you remember, we were trying to communicate with Hiram about the location of some chemicals. And to do that, we had our companions Nioka and Felix helping us through the terrible planet Monarch. And we reached uh, a point where we can get the information right now. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. Yes, Hiram. MSI and iColonists are no longer transmitting, but I'm sad for the iconoclasts because they are no longer existing. Or the head of iconoclasts. They cease to exist. Is data ready? Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem <laughs> in the end? You don't want to know the details. Blood everywhere, bodies all over the place. <laughs> Ugliest job we ever done. <laughs> Is that so? I helped MSI and killed Graham. Ruthless, efficient. I suppose if one of them had to be disposed of, I'm happy it was him. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver, so I can input the needed adjustments. Alright, Hyrium. Tell me how to fix it. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Got it. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Funny. Oh. We have more things to loot. I love looting. Aha. I can't open that. Yeah, we don't have enough lockpicks to open this. I need 29 more. Let's see, there is a terminal here. Priority transmission log, accessing Devil's Peak station. Status to station's primary band is operating with minimum signal, blah blah. Begin broadcasting. Oh, you can't? Maybe you should have been nicer to well. Okay, personal files. Continue. Clear blue skies. Sneaky, sneaky. And should have known and return to route and exit all right again just as a reminder if you would like to read the stories the tabs the logs in more detail you can just pause the video there i don't want to bore some of you that doesn't really want to um, that don't really care about the logs and also sometimes i really enjoy reading them but sometimes it's just too much to Testing one, two, out of check, focus. Check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. <laughs> Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. Don't make me come back in there. There's no need to assert your dominance. I doubt I could make you do anything you don't wish to. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior. But I must admit I have grown rather fond of you. Mm. As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. <laughs> he really does like you, Captain. Boss, are you seeing this? What's happening? What was that? Black holes! Did you see that? Whose ship was that? Looks like a UDL ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you 
see that? Sanjar. Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Well, this is something of an emergency. Spit it out. The vessel that just went down is a UDL gunship. One of the most formidable offensive ships short of an Earth Directorate assault cruiser. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. Level up. We are now level 15. My friends. That feels nice. We are getting stronger, but in this, at the same time the enemies are getting larger, more stronger, more heavily armored as well. What can you do? These are the nature of the games, right? Alright, so I looted a lot of stuff again and now we need to just break down some stuff to get some weapon parts and we have three flamethrowers now. Let's just break down two of them and yeah, that's enough for now. And what I would like to do right now is that I would like to check the Okay, maybe I can travel here. Let's see. The journal first. There's a faction quest and we can go retrieve the gunship's targeting module to help uh, MSI to defend its city. But in the meantime, we can go speak with Phineas and continue the main quest. I think this is more important right now. I would really like to help MSI, but I don't care. Or now because yeah why should we also as we talked in the last episode MSI is just a different version of the colony uh, the board let's say and Anjar telling us his ideas of getting into the board oh wait we, we can exit here as well okay Sanjar told us his ideas of leaking into the board and Taking them out one by one and replacing the board. Okay, we can go down here. And is it here? Yeah. Oh, an interesting way to exit. Wait, what is going on? These are not enemies, I guess. Yeah. Welcome back, idiots. They didn't help us infiltrate this location. All right, now let's go back to the ship and let's continue our main journey because I'm really curious about how, what to see, uh, what to come. And let me recap quickly these 15 episodes, previous 15 episodes. In the beginning, we woke up in a ship called Hope and Phineas woke us up and we were in a room in a chamber with I think more than 10,000 colonists or more than a thousand colonists. I don't remember the exact number But we were all in cryo chambers chambers and oh no, 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 I stole What do you think you're doing? Okay, I will I will pay you 50 bits. Thanks for the bits. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I, sh I shouldn't loot inside cities I should remember myself that what was I saying is that we were sleeping in a cryo chamber and somehow the sheep hope got lost and all those colonists were still in the cryogenic stage so they were still sleeping in the uh, cryogenic chambers so Phineas saved us woke us up and now in return he wants us to help him find the correct chemicals to just wake up all those colonists and I am not sure what his main um, main reasoning is, so I don't trust that guy that much. But in the same, in the meantime, we really should do that. What he says for now, but we will see. We need to be really careful about not falling for his traps. If he's oh my light machine gun level two, that is very nice. 
I'm glad that I didn't sell it. This is also a light pistol MK2, so we should be starting to use those things. Anyhow, what I was saying is that we need to be careful about Pinus guy, but at the same time, he is good. He gives us, I hope, the correct orders. Okay, this is here, and let's get the science gun here. And let's give the skills, skill points. As you remember, the last episode we get long guns to 90, now it's 100, and long gun critical hits ignore 100% of the armor, which is perfect. And we should be careful about using long guns. So this is a handgun, this is heavy weapon, this is long gun, for example. And I should be using light assault rifle if I want to get those long gun boosts. And also, maybe I can get a long gun with energy. Let's see, I think the energy ones are mostly... Ah, here it is. Okay, as you can see this one, it's also a long gun but uses energy bullets. So instead of using this heavy weapon, I can use the plasma carbine and use the energy but the damage yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes and for felix let's give another perk companion ability damage chance to reset ability cooldown on ability use let's get this and for Nioka, companion ability damage. All right, all right. Wait a second, where is the ship? Yeah, we need to go upstairs here. Oh wait, let's talk to this guy first because. You think maybe you could get ah. some of your friends to land here too? gets real quiet okay he's not talking to us now let's get the information from Phineas about the location of the chemicals Please, that would you kindly hopefully... inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves the ship yes Ada all right uh, so we need to get the location of the chemicals and also oh wait we need to go to Phineas's lab now this is very nice it is the first time that we are going to Phineas's lab we've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab this is this is very good okay i'm going to take Nyoko with me and Sam with me or should we go with Parvati and Sam yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Parvati, or no? I uh, Parvati is really emotional. So, or what do you have in your hand, Nyoka? Is it a? Looks like a saltuna. All right. Parvati is really emotional, so I trust Nyoka's reasoning much better. <clears throat> Hello, can you hear me? Does this work? Oh damn it! I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Mine the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Oh. Aha! I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. Find a target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable... Reviving you from hibernation was my great... Okay, we've got a science gun. Your odds of survival were a mere twenty That will leave a stain. Okay, I can't shoot you. Okay. What is this? After getting the chemicals, hopefully Phineas will help 
us um, waking up the colonists, but uh, maybe he's just tricking us. We'll see what will happen. And I just saw that we need to take the... Okay, there was one update with the... With a quest. Ah, weapons from the void. Hephaestus Mining Archive on Hearthorn's Terminal. Acquired the science weapon on Groundbreaker. Okay, this is a different one. Alright, let's talk to... Hawthorne. No, uh, Phineas. You. I'd clap you on the shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist, hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. What's important about these chemicals? If I had time and several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but... To put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. Hmm. What was that about Minister Clark? Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. Okay, just tell me what to do. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Hmm. Anything I should know about this Carmen Imagawa? You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Actually, there was something else I wanted to talk to you about. Of course, of course. What's on your mind? About the warning label. Uh, ah, also, there's there's some reason you're hiding behind bulletproof glass because it sounds, it looks really suspicious, Phineas. Never know what being frozen did to your brain. There's always a chance you might turn violent. I've no desire to end up like Thompson. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Got a moment to talk? Absolutely. Let's talk. We were talking all... Don't you ever leave your lap? Oh, goodness, no. I wouldn't survive ten seconds in the blackness of the Aether. Well, no, I imagine I'd last at least twelve seconds before I'd lose consciousness and die of hypoxia. Hmm, come on, Phineas. There has to be something you do for fun. I enjoyed the occasional Aether Wave drama in my youth. Not anymore. All bored propaganda. I'd rather not be brainwashed. To answer your question, I'd rather stay right here in my lab. There's too much work to be done. The Hope's colonists won't revive themselves, you know. Oof. Why are you so obsessed with reviving the Hope's colonists? Because we've lost our way. The board has a stranglehold over this colony, and we've all been conditioned into total obedience. 
The hope is full of specialists, scientists, engineers, talented individuals like you. Mm. The people who haven't been corrupted by the board. Unfortunately, the Hope's colonists have been frozen for decades, well past your shelf life, so to speak. No offense. Yeah, but you revived me, so you must have solved the problem. Ah, you begin to perceive the truth. Yes, according to the board and their narrow-minded scientists, you should be a pile of organic sludge right now. Ten years. That's how long the average human can remain in hibernation. You were frozen for decades. In theory, you never should have survived the revival process. But the conventional theories are wrong. You're living proof that it can be done. There's yet hope for the hope. Get it? Such a nice draw. Such a nice pawn. Okay, don't try to be funny, Phineas. It doesn't work. Right. So much for banter, eh? I'd best get back to work. Oh, I can feel my last dose of caffeinoid fading. Okay. Wrist pig. Sorry, sister pig. Can it tell? Just go through Phineas's stuff. Messages. Bypass. Okay, I will read this because I really care about Phineas. Uh, original message. I worked it out. Explain details later will be difficult to reproduce. Need your help. All necessary materials should be present in Halcyon. But locations elude me. Dumped a new associate dirt site Terra 2 near Edgewater. They have a stake in my purpose but trust in them only about 23.7% at present. They are recovering a ship. Should be along any time, just need to know where to send them. Let me know when you get this ed eager to be done. Okay, I think he's mentioning about us here. No other messages? Okay, that was it. That's my communications terminal. <laughs> okay, he doesn't trust us that much. And we don't trust him as well. So... It's a cool area, by the way. Let's go back to the ship and let's go to Hawthorne's terminal. About science gun. Science weapons. And Ada will talk now. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to be here. Search Hephaestus Mining Archive Cartridge for Keyword Weapon. And there are lots of logs and I will just leave. Okay, there are two science weapons that we can gather. One in Sicilia, one in Groundbreaker. I shut off the visual feed from my ocular inputs in the captain's quarters. So you're free to disrobe whenever you'd like. <laughs> okay, let's use the workbench for some quite some time actually we haven't used it and the best gun for us to use is now light assault rifle so i would like to install a mod and ooh finally noise range will be lowered to 3 meters so we can put a muzzler uh, or we can increase the damage so for the quiet muzzler, I would like to put this to a handgun. For the fun times barrel, we can do this here to increase the critical damage. Yeah, let's increase the critical damage. Yes. For this magnum. It will increase the amount of ammunition. This is nice. And yeah, we don't have any sights. So let's go back for the light pistol. Let's install this mod for the muzzler. And with the handgun now we can use. 
Hyatt Muslers. And for the weapons. Ah, okay. We can also tinker. We have lots of bits. So let's use them to increase the damage of the assault rifle a bit more. Yeah, let's use a lot of bits. I think this, this gun is one of the best guns. Ah, okay. Tinkered items can be no greater than 5 levels above your own. So, where is the level? Level 16, level 20. Okay, now we are level 15, so we can upgrade it until level 20. Let's upgrade this as well. We have lots of bits. We haven't used it at all. Good. And for the plasma carbine, I would like to just skip for now. And maybe we can get decent armor as well. I'm dying instantly. And let's repair the assault rifle. We have lots of parts, weapon parts as well for repairing. And yeah, let's wear something nice as well. So this looks cool from outers, but actually the armor is really terrible. So the thing is, I don't want to encounter the people very closely. So I will give Felix the best armor we have. So it is this one. Oh my. Looking cool, Felix. And this one for the head. Right, let's check the armors. Yeah. I think he has... Oh, and this is also very nice. Lots of modifications as well. You see augmented toughening, skeletal muscular adrenal stimula stimulator, and intractable highlight range. Wow, Felix, looking cool. What else we have? Maybe we can also increase some armor for Nioka. Yeah, she has terrible armor as well. Let's give her this other helmet. Ah, this is with 29 armor, very nice. And for the body, there is this 38. Yeah. And for Parvati, we can select some perks, but for now. Yeah. Let's get tactical time dilation meters. I'm not using Parvati that much anymore. And for Sam, I was using him as a tank. So let us continue in that line. And yeah, we cannot give any more to health or armor. But what we can do is we can give more to intimidate. So whenever he's with us, we can intimidate people more easily. And with the new ones, we can uh, give her, uh, give him or her, I don't know, a better perks. Okay, back to Felix. Just let's upgrade his melee weapon. And for the, for the ranged weapon, let's give him the flamethrower actually. So he will be close to the others and... Wow, okay, Nioka has the light machine gun. I think it suits her. This is ours. Yeah, we don't have any better. Anything better. Okay, let's use the workbench and... Ah, okay. We can also modify the armor. But... Okay, we are not wearing that for the armor i didn't choose an armor for myself and yeah let's get a decent armor for ourselves as well 
yeah dialogues this is increasing lock pick as well which is very nice and for the armor what do you think as well please write in the comments about the armor choice i will go for the heavy one uh, but yeah this is just for the sake of armor so if you have a better option please let me know in the comments so for now i don't want to get a lot of damage so i'm going for the heavy armor and let's modify that let's install a mod for insulated and yeah that's it can i install this as well no yeah this is changing it all right so far so good we can also break down some but we can do it in the inventory as well so let's not use it here and let's go to phineas's contact we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist dr phineas wells welcome back captain okay what do you think how Ada? can i be of assistance i would like to continue our conversation from before forgive me captain i would rather not discuss alex hawthorne today i am feeling discombobulated Discombobulated. Is there another topic on your mind? Mm hmm. Are you sad when you remember Hawthorne? No, I am sure I cannot feel emotions. The memory has merely disrupted one of my processors. Glitches can be quite uncomfortable. It was my fault he died. Oh, sad. How so? I should have predicted the statistical unlikeliness of success of my captain's actions. In fact, I did, but illogically disregarded the results. So you wanted Hawthorne to die? That statement is false. If I had wanted to kill my captain, I would have disabled the ship's life support systems and locked the doors to the escape pods. I would not have emergency landed the ship and asked repeatedly for my captain to wait for aid in response to my distress call while I monitored his concussion. But he said he had a job to complete. He had to set the landing beacon for your rendezvous. Okay, then why did you disregard the danger in what he was doing? He asked me to trust him. How exactly did Hawthorne improve your design? Captain Hawthorne attached 98.4% of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving me near total control. I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation vectors through asteroid fields while also operating our ship's toasters. Alex also taught me the concept of a personality. <laughs> He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was basic in the beginning. Where did you come from originally? The information in my memory banks says I am an autonomous digital astrogator created by redacted on the date of redacted for the express purpose of redacted. <laughs> I have not yet decided if I should attempt to uncover the missing information regarding my birth. I asked once, Alex did not build me, and would not say who did. That's all for now. Alright. Yeah, we can get more ammo now from the assault rifle, and let's go back to Terra 2, the Byzantium Freight Port landing pad. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. You can see Terra 2 now outside it looks like the ring of saturn and the planet looks like earth without the continent stuff all right i think this will be a bit tough so let's get our two most heavily armored but maybe sam can be a better choice for a tank and nyoka can shoot them from far away but felix is a tank now okay let's go with felix let's let's trust in our companions abilities and also we upgraded felix's abilities just to support nyoka so that felix's ability can with 25 percent luck can um Will reset the cooldown so we can use multiple times Felix's ability. 
All right, the, there is the Phineas's contact. Before I talk to him, I would like to like to make the cut here. Thanks for joining me in today's adventure. Don't forget to like this video and if you enjoy the content, please subscribe. See you in the next episode when we talk to Carmen and as always, have a nice day.